Jalo, Jalo, Bena, Uyang Zulisa. Except for you, this is the temple drama, your boyfriend's homie. At least you know where he's at if he's not with you. And no, <laughs> like I said, I'm with your boyfriend, but there's nothing to it. Ash. Right. No, I'm just maybe, putting maybe, it maybe out I'm there. Maybe I'm husband. No, I'm saying, I th uh, what I'm saying is maybe I'm a husband. Because you called me uh, a boyfriend. Oh, oh, you're a husband. I'm not, but maybe I could have been at that moment. But like, <laughs> I, I'm afraid to carry yeah, no, the interview's over. There's, <laughs> there's someone out there that calls me a hubby. Oh, is it? Is yeah. it? And I also wanted to home. All right. Anyway, my friend, this is MJ, by the way. After this long conversation, um, you know, we're taking a drive in the streets of Newtown. It's beautiful. Uh, and it looks like he doesn't trust my driving. No. I'm just going to put it out there. So if anything happens, it's his energy. We good. Because he put out the energy. <laughs> okay. But anyway, MJ, just briefly, mm. um, introduce yourself. Tell the people who you are, what you're about, what you do. Um, yeah. Hey man, um, a man of uh, many different traits, okay. uh, but uh, I think the most passionate one uh, is uh, my music. Okay. Because I've been doing it for so long, and nobody has like really paid me for it. Uh, okay. Yet. I've made a bit of money like in terms of music, mm -hmm. my music playing like on drama series or on yeah. adverts. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But nobody has really paid me to go and showcase my music. Okay. So that's another way for artists out there. You guys can make money yeah. without actually without actually being, being in the forefront yes. in front of the camera. That's the industry, it's that big. Yeah. yeah. In fact you can make more money that way. So do you enjoy being in the background and doing your music? Or, or yeah, making money off of your music without being in front of the camera, or are you now trying to push it more in the forefront? Yeah. I feel like for me being in the forefront, it has to come natural. Okay. It's kind of like a natural progression, mm -hmm. which kind of just happens. Yeah. When you doing what you what have you to do want, in yeah. the background, mm -hmm. so it's, you know a lot of people will be chasing the forefront to be on yeah. TV, to be on radio, mm -hmm. but they're not really working hard in the background. Okay, yeah, makes so, sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then, then if, you know if you're doing the right stuff in the background, mm -hmm. someone says, "Hey, look, man, I see what you're doing. I yeah. like what you're doing. Yeah. Like what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being interviewed by you right now. Yes, yes. It's because I've done. A, I think it's because I've done a lot of a work lot in the of work. background. Exactly, exactly. So I'd advise a lot of people to really do it that way. But hey, I love it both. Being on stage yeah. is amazing too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, do you think that, okay, is this, first of all, the only thing that you do? Um, okay, look, I'm an entrepreneur as well, so yeah. I do other things that bring income. Mm. Like uh, right now, I'm running a transport business with uh, Bolt. Oh, okay. So that's that's an income right there. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't, I don't like to put pressure on my creative space. Mm. You know, financial yeah. strain can be a problem to create. It can, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of, you know, helps. So does it not uh, um, take too much time? No, I don't do the driving. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you, you invested in a an, in a vehicle yes. and somebody does the driving, Someone does the driving for you, basically. For me. Then I got time to do my yeah. thing, yeah. but my bills are still paid for. I'm uh -huh. still taking care of things, you know okay. what I mean? Okay, okay. And, and do you enjoy it, by the way? Like, is, business is stressful, right? No, of course. People are stressful. Um, Wherever you are, and I, I think I think inside of me, ne, yeah. sometimes I might not like people, even though I have to talk to people. And you're such a nice person. <laughs> Don't let them change. No, I'm joking. Don't let I'm, them change I'm you. joking. Like I, I won't. I won't. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, business is stressful, and I'm sure your career as well. Um, Yo. The, the, like the media game is balancing tough. the two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I feel like. Um, I've had enough time in the industry because yeah. I started doing this when I was like 13, 14. Oh, but I was okay. like, my first gig yeah. was in fact uh, a stage play, mm -hmm. which we did most of the rehearsals here at Market, at, uh, market Theatre. Market Theatre, yeah. And uh, then we did the showcase at Nazareth Conference mm -hmm. Centre. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started back then. And it was quite a big production. Yeah. You know, you had Nelson Mandela there as the main, mm. you know, guest. Yeah, yeah. So I already experienced a lot of the lot big of, yeah, yeah. production, stressful mm. environment mm -hmm. early. And then I've done other things like worked with other companies, you know, like did your, your TV. Sorry yeah. to mention all these other. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool. I've done all those. I've acted Name on drop. stuff. Hey, man, uh, they, they need to pay you guys for that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. yeah, so I've done stuff like that mm. and I think I've kind of experienced the stressful moment yeah. and kind of learned how to deal with that. Mm -hmm. But what has really helped me is the fact that I really enjoy what yeah, I do. Yeah, doing what you do. Yeah. So no matter how stressful it gets, I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I'm sure you, you can't, like, a piece of you is mm. not complete until you've done that's it. what you love doing, Dude, regardless of how stressful it is. I've gets. sold cars. Yeah. You know when you've been when you living this life, mm. you go through different phases. Yeah. I've had to sell insurance. Mm. I've sold cars. Yeah. I've worked for a government department. Okay. These are the three yeah. nine to five jobs I've done that in my done, life. Yeah. And it made me appreciate more of mm. my passion mm -hmm. while I was there. Yeah. Because I realized, no man, this is not where I gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. As much as I'm making money, but mm -hmm. no. Okay. I'd rather make money and do and what I love at the what same you're time. Doing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And who's who's your biggest support structure? That person that has been there mm. or came along the way but has stuck it through with you? Um you know, I've got a, I've got a, actually a good support structure, man. Mm. Um uh, let me throw that baby phrase. Mm -hmm. Vom Hello, baby. Vom <laughs> That's not a, that, that is not a bad thing. No, no, my no, dad, it's not a bad look, thing. Look, I am petty because of my dad. My dad is petty, but I grew up in my mom's, you know, around my mom's family. They Which Tonga. is, oh, okay. Yeah, Shanghai. Ah, it's not that far off. No, it's close. It's, it's close. very close. Okay. So, so yeah. yeah, yeah. So, my mom's definitely the main yeah. support structure. Because she just supported me from day one. Just yeah. like how she would make me believe in myself from a young age. Mm -hmm. You know, how she would say, hey, come through to the, uh, you know, sitting room and recite that poem from school in front oh, of like okay. relatives yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So it makes you kind of be comfortable performing in front mm, of people. Yeah. And, and also the fact that when I needed to move to the big city, which is yeah. Johannesburg, all the way from Bushpark Ridge. Yeah, yeah. She was like, she never doubted. She just believed me. In, yeah, believed in what you, so, yeah. so there was never a moment where she's like, why, why are you leaving your job for? Mm. For this music stuff, for this no. peace job, yeah. Yeah. for yeah. there was never none there was of that. No, no, no. She's always said, like when there were times where you know when you've been working in the industry for some time, yeah. and then things change in the industry, mm. new people come in, new yeah. producers, new writers, mm -hmm. and then new talent. Yeah, you know. So you get to a point where you're not getting work and stuff like that. Mm. You're not even cracking auditions. Yeah. Um, how that happened with me is that I had to move from doing TV presenting at a young age mm. and acting. To having to change into a new agency okay so the previous agency was getting me a lot of work because yeah. it wasn't that young space yeah, yeah but as you get a little bit older then you need a different need agent some, yeah, yeah. That, that deals with all the clients, clients you know? yeah and that transition was a bit weird because i also traveled i went overseas mm. studied there stayed yeah. for some time yeah coming back it was different okay that's when i really needed a lot of support from yeah, my family yeah, yeah. and that's how i ended up doing jobs and yeah, yeah. files mm. and then through that my mom would be like yo dude when are you gonna do what you love? What like, you love what you're good yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. You could be killing it right now, like mm -hmm. her watching TV and seeing other people doing stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. You could be killing. You could it. be doing that. Yeah. I, and I and I actually feel your 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 passion will always follow you. You mm. know, regardless of of what you do. Like I said, a piece of you is never complete up mm. until you have done that which you enjoy doing. True. So you which can is, get your nine to five jobs yeah. as much as you want. You can. I mean. But it's Dude. also aligned, it's aligned to your purpose, what you love to do, yeah. what you're passionate about, what you do for free, mm. you know, is yeah. aligned to your purpose yeah. in life. Exactly. That thing that no matter what happens, you'll um, always want to do it, mm. regardless of whether you're getting paid for it or not. That's true. You know, so you know if you are dragging to wake up every day and go wherever you need to go it's a problem that's not where you're supposed to be no man. definitely it's not. actually not even it's unfair to you but it's also unfair to the people that you work for yeah because you're not even giving them a hundred hundred percent you're not you're not there yeah, you know so <laughs> yes yeah uh, uh. so i so i ended up just like you know uh, when i was selling cars yeah uh found a new agent okay. and i was getting work while i was selling cars okay so imagine my day right i show up at work dressed up in a suit selling Cars, mm -hmm. phone call comes in. Hey, MJ, can you make it to the nearest studio, or whatever? They need to do this ad yeah. for whatever brand. Mm -hmm. Now I'm wrapping up the car sale, mm -hmm. and I'm like sweating because yeah. I have to run to a depot to pick up the car for a test drive. Yeah. Now I gotta drop it back off, run back run to back, my car, yeah. drive to this place, do a voice, come back to work and sell more cars. Nah. Then I realize then that I can't do that all the time. All the time. Because yeah. now people are starting to ask questions mm -hmm. like, oh, he's never here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just took a leap of faith. Still staying with my family at the time, mm -hmm. 
and I started doing uh, my agent said look we're gonna make you do voiceovers yeah. that's the first thing yeah I started killing voiceovers started doing some uh, uh, a couple of adverts on TV mm. so I'm so like now nah, that's what I'm doing like yeah. I focus on my voiceovers oh, yeah, yeah. I go for auditions castings I've done a drama it's on the drama actually yeah. okay um, and then my music career so mm. I've got a studio at home set up and recently in fact currently I'm working with uh, Dr. Mbongeni Gamma on yeah. a, uh, Freedom is Coming nice. remix nice. with MT, Reason, mm. Mm. Gigi LeMayne. Okay. Oh, she's amazing. Yeah. Gigi LeMayne is... It's another... No, she's on a, she's a beast. Spark. No, when she raps, yeah. sham. And she's a great person too, so... True, true. Uh, that's what we're doing, man, and okay. we're excited. Just so, so just before we wrap it up... Mm. Ne? Um, oh, let me see if we can parallel park. No, listen, we're doing an <laughs> interview. I don't care about the lines right now. Why, why are you putting me at the spot? The only lines we care about is the lines on our heads. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, I like your energy. So just quickly before we wrap it up, yeah. man, if somebody wanted to get into this industry, uh, your voiceovers, um, putting their music, besides being on the forefront, like, mm. like we talked about, um, putting their music in um, TV dramas and so forth, mm. how do they start or like, yeah, it's, where it's, do they start? You see, that's a... You know, a lot of people have talent, but then, like you, they never really know what to do with it. Mm. They kind of see what they see on TV and think that's the that's only the way. That's the only way, yeah. So I think it's important that we need to share that information mm -hmm. on platforms. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, we can even have another talk on a different show just about 100%, that. Hundred percent, yeah, yeah. Uh, over uh, during the lockdown period, mm. um, I kind of conceptualized okay. an idea, which mm. is now becoming a reality. Oh, okay. Uh, so now this is going to be a platform mm. called mm. Stalker. Okay. okay? Mm. It's going to be up very soon. Yeah where you can create your own profile mm -hmm. as a producer mm -hmm. or as a musician yeah. and you can upload your own songs on that platform okay okay so it's all about that yeah right so maybe you'll have like a hundred songs on mm -hmm. your catalog yeah so producer x mm -hmm. with a hundred songs yeah, yeah. okay and then the platform man mm -hmm. for for everybody to kind of have an opportunity to yeah. get into the industry yeah yeah from anywhere you could be in Haman's Kral, like mm. chilling there producing yeah. in your little um, kukura yeah, or yeah, your yeah. mom's house or back your door bed. your bed it doesn't matter yeah. you log on mm. you submit your stuff mm. and then we market everything for you to open it up to so, people so behind the scenes is it basically going to be like uh, you guys are an agency pretty much we like the middleman like I was saying that's what the platform is all about man yeah. uh, forget about getting lost in the mix because what what's gonna happen is when people go on mm -hmm. okay from the other side yeah i'm talking about people in production like mm -hmm. if i'm an editor and i'm mixing uh, a tv show yeah. like your show for yeah, instance yeah. and i need music i'll be able to go on the platform and get and go to the search bar mm -hmm. I, i'm not going to profiles yeah, yeah. i'm going to the search bar and i'm gonna say i'm looking for quite door music mm -hmm. or trap or african trap okay all okay. the songs that have that feel yeah, that yeah. are tagged under that then will, come will all that come search, up yeah. and then you've got a uh, 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 where you can actually play the music and hear hear the yeah, snippet yeah. right yeah, a snippet of it it's sort of like your your apple music yes. or whatever the case may be. you're gonna select the music according to how the music sounds, sounds and if it okay. works for what you're doing mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah, so yeah. it could be some kid from kylie yeah. and his music will be playing while yeah, he's yeah. living there yeah because why he's dope it works with that particular project. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it is. It's about opening yourself up. Mm. And uh, we'll be constantly sharing information on how to really get, like, grow your chances of people okay. actually choosing your choosing music, your music yeah. based on merit. Mm -hmm. So mix it better, produce it better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Tag it better so that when you upload it, make sure if it's a trap song, you have to write there trap. Yeah. Mm. Hip hop, mm. so like hashtag, it yeah, so that like, people can find you exactly in that genre, exactly. All right, yeah. no, guys, hey, you've heard it. That was actually a <laughs> mouthful, uh, yeah, but a very informative mouthful, I believe. And um, look, from what I hear, from what I see, your energy is um, amazing. Wow, and coming from you, that means a lot. I mean, your energy is amazing. Well, what can I say for myself? <laughs> I'm joking, but thank you very much. Yeah, um, look, it looks like you're doing a lot of great things. And for the fact that in everything that you're doing, you're including, um, you, you have the idea to still bring up people that, you know, um, want to get into the industry. I believe, I guess that's why they keep saying open up the industry. That's how you live longer in the game. You know, that's what people don't realize. Yeah, people yeah. are trying to hog the space to live long. Yeah. No, living long is bringing people in. that are gonna you're gonna live through them. Yeah. yeah. Even when you're gone, mm -hmm. people are gonna remember your name because of how many people what you, you brought in. Yeah. 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 So. And, and and that's a great way to go about it. And and, and that's essentially 
the point of these interviews as well is exactly that mm. that we are always seeing interviews of the greats and you know people that have been doing it for years and there's nothing wrong with that yeah um, but we also need to shine a light on those people that are still trying to come up because sure. sure. no one is shining a light on them. nobody you know they're really trying and hustling hard but it's very difficult to get into the spotlight no one cares until you you I don't know, get that one big thing yeah you know um so that's 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 the point of all of this and we are i guess I, i'm gonna say we appreciate what you're doing for the industry i really appreciate the platform as well yeah. i mean i don't even think i'm there or worthy to be to be interviewed you know what i mean but okay. the fact that you really did, yeah. did it for me i really appreciate it also no i appreciate it yeah. too and before you leave your name is mg is that your MJ actual wait, your actual id name mg those are my initials MJ. What's your full name? Mashapa. Jerome. Mm-hmm. So name is Mashapa. I know you look like a Jerome. You know, <laughs> you know back in the 80s that R&B people with the uh, do rags and uh, <laughs> so, I leave it there. I leave funny, it there. I love it. Cut it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, wow, so give beautiful. people your your socials where to find you. All right. Yeah. Hey man, just look for at MJ Machaba. So it's MJ like Michael Jordan, MJ. Mm-hmm. And then the surname is M A C H A B A. One word. MJ okay. Machaba. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you heard that's it. That's Instagram. That's uh my, Yeah. What, what? But find me on Instagram. That's where I spend most of my time. All right. So yeah. you heard it. This is MJ. The Dimple Drama has been real. The energy has been amazing. Yeah. Jalo, jalo. <laughs>